Okay, in this concrete estimating, we're going to do a unislab. A unislab is where they pour the footings in the slab at the same time. They don't pour them separately. So we're going to figure out how much concrete it's going to take to pour this structure right here. Okay, so first of all, we're going to figure out what it's going to cost for this deeper part, this 11 inch part, and then we'll figure out what we need for the 4 inch part. So to do the deeper part, all the way around, we have to just go add all of our numbers up together and we get 190 linear feet, if I added correctly, that's 160, 190, that looks right, times our thickness, or excuse me, the width, we're going to use 30 because it's 24 inches and the slope part I added 6 inches, so I'm going to go with 30 inches. And then our thickness, which is 11 inches. And since these are inches, we want them in feet. We're going to divide each one by 12. So instead of 30 inches, I get 30 over 12 feet. Instead of 11 inches, I got 11 over 12. So 11 twelfths of a foot. All right. Then we're going to divide the whole thing by 27 to turn it into cubic yards. All right. So. Using my TI-30XA calculator, I'm going to take 190 times parentheses 30 divided by 12 times 11 divided by 12 equals, you got to make sure you hit the equals after you get that part done, and then hit divided by, because it's going to take this answer and divide by 27, and then hit equals again. So I have 190 times parentheses 30 divided by 12 parentheses times parentheses 11 divided by 12 parentheses equals divided by 27 equals and I get 16 point one three cubic yards. So the footing part of it is going to take 16.13 cubic yards. Okay? Now, to do the rest of the slab, so that's from this part going that way. So what I'm going to do is I have I measure in 30 inches around because we've already got that part calculated so then I just have to do this big part and then I'm going to do it in two parts and I'm going to do this little part okay so 30 inches is a two and a half feet so two and a half feet from each side so this would be 45 feet and then um, you have 45 feet and then it's 30 feet here so I'm going to subtract off five so I have 25 feet, okay? And then down here, this becomes 15 feet, and then the width would be 10 feet. So this would be this section down here would be 10 by 5, and this piece would be 25 by 45. So I gotta do two calculations because I got two different area formulas up there. So I'm gonna take uh, 45 times 25 times 4 over 12 divided by 27 and then I'm going to take uh, 10 by 15 10 by 15, yeah this would be 15, that would be 10 times 4 over 12 and then divide that by 27, okay? So this would be the same thing. It'd be 45 times 25 times, and then you would put parentheses around this, parentheses around this. So the top half would be 45 times 25 times parentheses 4 divided by 12, parentheses equals, divided by 27 equals, 
13.89 cubic yards. And Okay, so I made a little error on the first calculation, so I have to I changed it. Um, when you're doing this over here, I subtracted off five feet for this, and then I subtracted off five feet for this, but there's only footings on one side of this because it butts up against here, so I only had to take off two and a half feet. So the second calculation should have been 15 times 12.5 times 4 divided by 12. So 15 times 12.5 times parentheses 4 divided by 12 parentheses equal by 27 equals. So 2.31. And I add those together, I get 13, 13, uh, 7, 10, 12. I get 32. Point 3, 3 cubic yards, uh, let's use 1.15, so 15% for waste, 32.33 times 1.15 equals 37 point, let's say 37.2 cubic yards. So a little bit less. We used 20% before, and now we're only using 15, so you can see the difference in the extra concrete that you would have.